G'day, I'm Don from Lovells Adelaide and today we're going to be going through the three stages of the GVM upgrades we do for Land Cruiser 200 series. So to start with, we're going to go through the 3800 GVM for the Land Cruiser 200 series. Our base entry GVM kit is a 3800. That 3800 kit comprises of a GVM at 3800 kilograms, a towing upgrade of 3500 and a CM upgrade of 7300 kilos. With that upgrade, we use shocks and struts which are a twin tube nitrogen gas. So to start with, we've got the front strut. This one's completed, lower strut section, a spring and a top hat. The rear is a nitrogen gas twin tube shock. Depending on which load that we have on the vehicle, we have got two different springs we can set up for that vehicle. Same in the rear, we have two different springs we can also set up depending on what load you're carrying. Option two for the Land Cruiser 200 series is a four ton GVM. It comprises of a GVM upgrade to four ton, a tow of three and a half, and a GCM of 7,500 kilos. With the four ton GVM, we're using a monotube shock. So the monotube shock is adjustable in height. So we can adjust these shocks to vary the load on the front of the car, whether the vehicle's got a ball bar, winch, dual batteries. We can adjust this so it's got the better, harder ride or a softer ride, depending on what load we've got on that car. The guys at the back can adjust this to suit. On the rear, yet again, it is a monotube shock, so it's not adjustable, but it, yet again, it is designed for that firmer ride. And same as the 3800, we have got two spring options for the front. And you can see there is a smaller wire diameter and also a thicker wire diameter. Yet again, that comes into play with the ball bar winch scenario. If we're just setting up a standard vehicle with no accessories on it, we would go the smaller spring. But yet again, like I said earlier, this kit is designed for the cars that are loaded up with quite a bit of weight and doing a lot of heavy towing. The final kit we have in the Land Cruiser 200 series is a 4.2 GVM, consisting of a GVM upgrade to 4,200 kilos, the tow of 3,500 kilos, and a GCM of 7,500 kilos. They are adjustable valving on a um, remote canister. Yet again, the strut has an adjustable threaded position on the bottom, so the guys at the back can set this up to suit the load on the vehicle. This will obviously adjust the height and the weight of the spring, or the tension on the spring. The remote resi has a dial indicator on it, which is one to eight. These are located in a very accessible position in the front guard and under the rear seal panel of the Land Cruiser 200. These are a manual adjustment which can be done by the driver. It's quite easily to be adjusted and turned. They do have a lockout when they go into position. Same with the rear on the vehicle. It also has a shocker with a remote canister. This one's mounted under the rear seal of the vehicle. And yet again, it's quite accessible for the driver to get to, to adjust those for those loads. With that as well, we've got the same as the other two options where we can upgrade the rear springs of the vehicle depending on what load we're requiring that vehicle. Yet again, being wheel carriers, long range tanks, draw systems, fridges, roof racks. The other option we have, especially with the 3800 kilo GVM, is the customer wants to keep that comfortable ride of the vehicle. The 3800 is going to do that and it's also going to give you that GVM upgrade with the GCM upgrade. For the people that have got the larger vans or occasionally tow a larger boat or something like that, um, they just need that little bit of extra support in the back of the vehicle. We do offer a, a airbag man airbag. The airbags are situated within the coil spring itself. They also have a high pressure Kevlar sleeve which is wrapped around it. And the exit point for the filling of the valve is normally located at the rear of the vehicle. These airbags can go up to a 60 PSI rating. They're not there to carry the load of the vehicle. They're there just to assist that spring. It's just another accessory we can offer to achieve that comfortable ride around town for your Monday to Friday. But then on the weekend, we are towing your boat or your larger van or trailer. Um, you have got that accessibility just to keep that little bit more pressure into it and just give you a little bit more control of that vehicle. With the option of the GVM upgrades to the Land Cruiser 200, we can supply an upper control arm. The upper control arm is removed from the vehicle, the factory. We replace it with the Lovell's upper control arm. For these is for the people that want that little bit of extra height in the front of the car. These will obviously allow for wheel alignment and longevity and so forth in the front end. So Lovell's 
upper control arms are designed for better caster and camber on the Land Cruiser 200. Also, um, for the vehicles that have got that higher lift into them that was required. These can be engineered as part of the GVM kit. Um, also got a greasable cap under the top here, which is obviously a lot easier and serviceable for the end user. Unlike the factory unit that we're removing from the vehicle, it is a solid construction. Serviceable ball joint, rubber bushed, with a dark blue powder coat and the anodized blue. Under the vehicle, it really enhances and really pops and looks really smart in your vehicle also. Oh, now we've seen what's in a kit, how do we choose which kit is best for us, our situation? Well, let's run through the kits individually. The 3800 kit was the first kit on the market back in 2007, and it's really, it's an all-purpose daily driver kit. You know, it's a good package of spring and shock absorber. It's not outrageously hard. It gives uh, an improvement in handling on the road, and on the highway in particular, um, but it's family friendly. It's not harsh. It's nice and compliant and supple, while still giving a good four to 500 kilos of additional payload capacity. We find the 3800 kit is great when teamed up with a pair of airbags. So you've got the supple ride for daily use, but when you're loading up to go away, you've got the van on or you're full of camping gear, etc. you can just pump up the bags a bit, make the ride a little bit stiffer. If there's one area that the 3.8 is a little bit deficient, is when you're pushing it to the extremes. You know, we see cars which weigh 3800 kilos without anyone in them, and those cars are really heavy and they really wallow, needing more shock control enter the four ton kit. So the four ton kit was introduced in 2018 as an upgrade to the 3.8 kit and it was really done in collaboration with an overseas government who had a lot of uh, heavy land cruisers, let's say with a lot of armoured gear in them. The, this particular kit is actually tuned for that kind of weight so it responds really well to cars with a lot of weight bull bars, winches, side steps, rear wheel carriers, big tanks, lots of gear in the back as well. So into the 4200 kit released in 2021. This kit features the remote reservoir shock absorbers with adjustable compression damping. This kit really gives you a bit of adjustment so that you can, you can soften the ride when you're not as heavily laden or dial it right up for when you're really pushing the envelope uh, on a heavily laden car. Dialed right down though, you still do need a few hundred kilos in the back. You know, we'd recommend three to 400 kilos of constant load for this kit to be comfortable because it is still quite a firm ride. And for more information, please reach out to us email us, call us at Lovells Adelaide, and don't forget to hit the link below to subscribe and watch out for our new releases as they come through.